Welcome, people of the internet, to Off Script with Resident Unleashed. Ah, uh, yeah, we're doing this. I didn't think I'd be talking about P5X again so soon. I uploaded a video yesterday which basically entails all of the details that you should know about the game. And please go check that out if you want to know more about the game. But, you guys... It's here. It's happening. Alice have done it. I mean, realistically, it's more Blackwing games and Perfect World games. I think that that's what they're called. But it's more them than Atlas and Sega. But, but everyone's done it. We have microtransactions in Persona. Ladies and gentlemen, please give yourselves a big pat on the back. We did it, us as a fan base, this is exactly what we didn't want, right? I mean, I'm guessing all of you guys also didn't want this, because I sure as hell don't want this. The thing is, though, the thing is, this makes sense. And I hate that it makes sense, but it does, because how do you release a free-to-play mobile game that looks better than Persona 5 at the moment, and probably runs better as well, because because at this point, Persona 5 is actually over six years old, guys. My back's breaking. Holy crap. But besides my age actually showing here, and all of your guys' age, I guess, now. You'd never, never, ever work that hard on a project and basically get nothing for it in return. So there has to be microtransactions. Now, I didn't include it in my video yesterday because it wasn't confirmed. It was basically not confirmed, it was up in the air. But now that I've seen so many articles say that there are microtransactions in the game, and because it makes the most sense, they've done it. They're, they're doing it, it's, it's Genshin Impact. It is literally Persona Genshin Impact. It's gonna be a gacha game, maybe, I don't know. People are saying that, I have no proof. I can't see it being a gacha game, that'd be weird. I don't know how they incorporate that mechanic into the game, but you know, they could do anything. Oh, you can gotcha your persona. Oh, no, no, not the gotchaing of personas. Oh, that sounds awful. I don't even know if I want to play this game. I mean, it looks cool. It looks like, oh, yeah, Persona 5 experience. You get to go to school and then go to the metaverse. But it's already turning me away by being on mobile. And now it has microtransactions. Like, am I going to need to buy things to be able to play the game properly? Like, I get that, realistically, you don't have to, right? You never have to, but they're there, and it makes it easier for you to play the game. It's like, kind of like Pokemon Shuffle. I remember buying Pokemon Shuffle on my 3DS, and it was free. But you had, like, three turns a day, so you could only do three puzzles in one day unless you paid money to play the game more. And I know that sounds like absolute utter BS, but that was true. And I actually did spend money on it because there was one day where I just really wanted to play Pokemon Shuffle. I spent 15 bucks wasting my money playing Pokemon Shuffle. And is that something I might have to do for Persona 5X? Like, do I have to buy passes to be able to fight Shadows? I don't think so. But I do think I have to my personas. Oh, that sounds so bad, guys. Oh. Let me know what you think about that in, in the comments. Like, just tell me. What do you think that... Ugh, I want to read your comments. I want to I wanna know what people are thinking. I also want to know, guys. What do you think the theory is for this game? Because I think it's going to be localized, honestly. And I think it's going to come out everywhere. And there's going to be a bunch of microtransactions. There's going to be dubs. There's going to be maybe an anime. <laughs> What if there was an anime based on a game with microtransactions? Oh, this hurts. It hurts so much. But there's, there's going to be a lot surrounding this game. It's going to come out on mobile initially. And it's also coming out on PC. So are they literally just going to do a Genshin Impact and release it on PC? Then they're going to release it on all consoles. And then everyone's going to have access to this free-to-play game with microtransactions. Like, there is so much going on in my head right now about microtransactions, guys. And I know people say, oh, Atlas have kind of done a similar thing in the past. They really haven't. Um, 
DX2 is the closest thing, and that's developed by Sega, and basically Sega has full reign over that, and I'm pretty sure that game has microtransactions in it. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, though. And Atlas themselves have never really done it. They've just released DLC, right? And people complain about Atlas's DLCs. But the thing is with those that you don't have to buy any of those to be able to enjoy their games. Even the DLCs in like Shin Megami Tensei 4, you don't need it. You don't need the DLCs in Shin Megami Tensei 5. They're nice, but you don't need them at all. And I haven't actually gotten any of them, not even the ones in Shin Megami Tensei 5. But microtransactions to play the game, that scares me, that frightens me. It frightens me on a whole nother level that I can't even begin to imagine. Like, holy crap. I think for me personally, I'm gonna start playing this game when it comes out, and I'm gonna really enjoy it, and then there's gonna be like this little wall. And they do this on purpose with microtransaction games. They create this obstacle that gets in your way. And it's quite difficult if you've just played the game for free, but if you buy their little thing, like their little like $2 thing, you can beat it. And that's how they suck you in. That's how they get you. You're just like, oh yeah, it's only $2 and I'm really enjoying playing this game. And then slowly over time, that $2 becomes $100, it becomes $1,000, it becomes $3,000 that I don't have just to play Persona 5X. And you know what? I'll be smart enough not to do that, and I'll try my best to play the game as free as I can, because honestly, despite the microtransactions, they're totally the best thing in the world, but I understand why they exist, because companies need to make money. I'm going to thoroughly enjoy this game. It looks really well-made, well-structured, and on top of everything, it seems like it's going to be a good experience overall. But it's going to be ruined by stupid microtransactions. Stupid microtransaction. I'm turning into Leon Kuwata from Danganronpa, who just says stupid, 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 over and over again. It's so dumb. I can't even anymore. So guys, what do you all think? Please, please let me know in the comment section down below. And if you did watch to this point, please subscribe to my channel. It means the absolute world to me when you support my channel. And don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed me ranting into the microphone for about, well, oh my god, it's almost been eight minutes. Holy crap. Okay, with that all being said and done, my name is Resin Unleashed. The resident who ranted into a microphone for literally too long about microtransactions in Persona and unleashed it out into the world and I will catch you all next time.